Welcome, welcome. Who's excited for today? Let me know in the comments. We're going to be diving into wealth energetic case studies and answering all your questions. And I really invite you to think of yourself as your own case study. If that makes sense. I'd love for you to start to think about what is your story of transformation going to be? And I would love to know, let's just kind of get a bit of a pulse check, see where everybody's at. Who has done all five of the masterclasses, including the Akashic Record activation? Big shout out to you if you have. Who's catching up, feeling hopeful, buzzing, feeling very positive? Awesome, awesome. Done it all. Nice, nice. So how does it feel having completed all the sessions so far? really allowed yourself to receive all that I've been giving you this week. How are you feeling? How are you feeling in relation to your intentions? What you're creating and manifesting? Alrighty, so if you need a replay link, let us know in the comments, just say replay. Of course, if you're um, watching the re watching the replay and, and you need any uh, support with questions, then just let us know in the Facebook group. But if you're here um, and you need a replay, then Moses has got you covered and he'll pop the replay link in shortly um, for you so that you can have that. We've got all the replays laid out for you on a, on a nice replay page. And today what we're doing is we're going to be diving into, okay, well, what does wealth expansion look like in real life? What does expanding your wealth consciousness look like? And we're going to share some case studies so you can start to see how our clients have expanded their wealth consciousness and they continue to do so, of course, it's an ongoing journey and the ripple effect that this then creates across all areas of life and, and what it looks like, you know, for, for them in business and, and in life as well. My my hope is that you then know that you can you can do this too, and I just wanted to give everybody a, a thank you um, for sharing and letting people know what we're up to this week and um, sharing your social media and inviting friends along and all things. We'll pop your name into the to the prize draw. We're going to do the prize draws for all the actions that everyone's been taking, all the momentum that's been created. Um, we'll do that on Wednesday. So just to give you a heads up on heads up on that. And for everyone who's completed our survey, then um, we will pop your name into our, our drawers when well, you've got an opportunity to win a one to one with me, too, which is which is awesome. So thank you so much for everyone who has completed the survey. Let me know if you need the survey link. Uh, pop that in the in the chat and we will uh, get that for you. Randy saying, I hope it's energetic work with one missing piece of your breakthrough. It absolutely is, Randy. This this is the, the 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 key thing that will help you to have your energy doing the heavy lifting while you're implementing strategies and for you to be able to really amplify that connection with your higher self. And as you raise your frequency, you'll get more expanded ideas that are going to be a more an, an energetic match to, to your desires and to that revenue and impact that you want to make. So super excited for you here. So let's just take a moment to set our intention to bring all of our energy back to this present moment. As you know by now, when you're in my world, intention is really, really important. So just inviting you just to take a moment to become fully present so we can be focused together on our time that we have. Consider what your intention is. What is the revenue and the impact you're committed to making and creating over the next 90 days? What's the revenue and impact you're committed to creating in your business in, in, in 2024? So the two components, because what we're up to here is creating that ripple effect for the rest of 2024, the 2025, and, and so on. So it's really important just to bring your awareness back to, to that intention. And let me know in the chat, what, what are we creating? What are we up to? And of course, if you're in the in the, on the replay, then please do post it in the Facebook group. That's where I'm able to connect with you in between these calls. So we'd love to see what you're up to. Tag me. So let's just do a little bit of a quick recap before we dive into, into all the things for today. So we've given you the steps to focus on for Mastering Wealth Energetics. You can have the breakthrough and have the transformation. Otherwise, you're going to get pulled back. 
it's really key to heal that resonance rift in between your higher self, your conscious mind and your subconscious. So working on all the beliefs and emotions and the, the self-concepts that you have, allowing your higher self to, to lead so that you're being able to create that future consciousness of yourself. Creating a new default set point. So that's where we're doing the deep inner healing work across all the layers of your human Wi-Fi, your levels of consciousness, your body, with our impactful manifesting rituals. It's key to have that balance and creating the future, your future self-consciousness through imprinting a new identity, embodying a new identity, new self-concepts, new beliefs, new emotions that raise your frequency so that you, you have changed the channel to the ideas that you're receiving and receive ideas and synchronicities from your future self. So you can implement strategies that you're actually, actually in, in alignment with. So this, this is key. This is where you take action. So this is what we're up to. With, with the Helix method. And we talked through this week, so you can really just start to see, okay, so this is where I'm at. This is, these are the blocks that are coming up and where are interfering with where I want to get to. So we talked about, I introduced you to the resonance rift and I'll, I invite you to think of our relationship with wealth being multidimensional on all levels of our consciousness, including how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about sales, how we feel about holding money. Our soul knows that we're worthy and we're divine multidimensional beings. It's, it is our conscious mind and the subconscious that just picks up all this programming that somehow we're not it's creating this resonance rift. We all have it. The key is doing this work in this way so that we can start to, to bring those layers of consciousness into resonance. We all have these desires and urges to keep growing and expanding to that next level. So this, this is the whisper of your soul. And when all levels of your consciousness are aligned and the deep inner healing work of the nervous system, the energetic buffering, future identity is actually really embodied, you can receive more. You're able to relax and be and to have fun co-creating with the universe and creating and making and, and circulating more money and, and holding more money. We introduce you to the energetic block of the somatic default set point. So this is where talking about physiological, psychological and energetic default set points. And we have this across all aspects of our identity, including our self-image. What's your self-image like? Is it in resonance with what you desire? our self-worth, our deservingness, our emotions, all the things. And these neural pathways, they act as internal reference points, set points that create our glass ceilings. And they stop us from serving more people, increasing our client bases, making more sales, manifesting more money and allowing more fun and more joy in. That's such a key one. So often people will allow more money in, but then just trade it by not allowing themselves to have more joy and making themselves work harder to allow, to feel deserving, to have the money coming in and all the things. And this is the key thing is when we've healed the current default set points, we have for money, for wealth, for worthiness, deservingness, we have expanded our capacity to receive across all aspects, money, fun, love, support, time, all the things. Let me know in the comments which is feeling like this is the one that really stood out to me. Let me know what was the energetic block that you were like, that's the biggie for me. So current identity, we create reality through our identity. And so our identity becomes the block when we're trying to create a new reality with our current identity. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it's going to be hard. I'm going to have to kind of be in that push, push energy. And our identity is what creates the paradigms, the self-concepts that creates the beliefs and our emotions feelings, they all inform our behavior and our action. And then the experience that we then have, that feeds back to reinforce our identity. And so all of this together creates our reality. So as part of this, you know, thinking of our relationship with money and our identity as a CEO and managing money, these are the big ones that show up at, at every stage of, of the game, whether you're transitioning from corporate to being an entrepreneur, whether you're like already in that, I'm a CEO of my business and I'm growing to my first six figures or, or I'm already at six figures, I'm growing to multi-six figures. 
or you're at six, multi six figures and you're like, right, now I'm, I've been here and I'm ready to, to make a bigger impact and grow to seven figures. And and of course, you may be at multi six figures. You're like, you know, what? this is this is the, the zone. This is my my area. This is where I want to stay. I want to be able to hold and maintain this and continue my contribution in, in this way. So this is key when you heal your relationship with money and really embody the identity um, this is one of the key self-concepts of being an excellent steward of your money. You feel worthy and you feel deserving of holding more money effortlessly. And you see this directly impact your business. And this is a key aspect that we work on within the, within the wealth portal. And I walk you through some specific steps to do this. Then we have the, the nervous system pinnacle. This is such a huge one. So this is where our nervous system has a, has a capacity of what it's going to allow in before the flight, fright, freeze and collapse protective systems are, are, are triggered. And the, the threshold of our nervous system's capacity is, is the pinnacle. And I invite you to look around. So your current reality, all our current reality that we experience in relation to visibility, marketing, sales, cash flow, savings, investing, spending, that is the pinnacle. That's the capacity of our current nervous system. And then when our nervous system's triggered, we revert back to our default set points as our consciousness just takes us back to that default set point to keep us safe. So when we increase the capacity of our nervous system by healing the hidden emotions and the beliefs and the traumas and the memories and the experiences, we calibrate to a new level of alignment for success. Does that make sense? And then the fifth one, bringing it all together is our energetic buffering because when we heal and clear our energy field of reversed and resistant energies, we create more coherence and our energy does the heavy lifting for us. Uh, more of our energy is in flow. We have less resistance, uh, less in you know reversed energy. All of that is impacting our vibrational signal. Truly, things get easier and easier. Easier and easier. Does that sound good? Allowing our energetic vibration to do that heavy lifting whilst we're implementing the strategies and taking aligned action. And this brings me on to strategic dissonance because this is the thing, when we have raised our frequency to our future self-consciousness and follow that intuitive guidance of our higher self and take the aligned action alongside, of course, developing our skills and being a CEO of our company, our implementation of strategies are, are simply more effective. So as I share that that recap, I would love to know what, what has been the biggest block you've identified so far. Let's see what we've got coming up in the chat. And of course, three players, I would love to know what has resonated for you in the Facebook group. Alrighty. Oh, witnessing these intentions is fantastic. Yes, that's fantastic. I have dropped a third of my day job hours and starting to get clients calling me. Congratulations. I think I made space for my own work, which brings me so much joy. I had a big shift last week too. I'm setting big intentions out. Yes, congratulations. Okay, and then recognizing the next level is I still have discomfort in asking for the right level of payment. Okay, so we need to get that one sorted so that you are able to really embody that and start to feel really good about receiving money for sharing your gifts. Alrighty. So this is the key thing. You'll have identified identified some of the areas that really resonate. I also invite you to notice which are the areas that don't resonate because the subconscious is masterful at hiding things. So we can be like, oh, that just completely doesn't resonate for me as a self-protective mechanism. They're all interconnected, of course. Alrighty, I want to see... As we're kind of opening up the conversation with this, if anyone here has any questions of what they have uncovered this week, um, I've gathered the questions from the from the Facebook group. We had just one in the in the question thread, and of course, if you're watching the replay, you're like, I missed it. Then just pop your question there. Do tag me, and we'll circle back and make sure we get it answered. Um, we'll answer it in the thread. Okay, so four out of the six are resonating for you. I had a big health call over the weekend, stopped doing gardening, and no longer resonated with it. Put it on some of them now. Amazing. So good to when we actually listen, isn't it? And we go, yeah, I'm actually going to take action on this. I'm listening to this. This is not resonating anymore. All righty. So, whilst you're kind of thinking whether you've got um, any questions that have bubbled up, and I know that it's so important to listen to the questions other people have asked because often 
Um, they'll ask a question that you didn't know you had, if that makes sense. So Denisa asks, what is the best way to spot limiting beliefs around business success and how do you dissolve them? Well, this is what we've been up to this week. So the best way to spot limiting beliefs around business success and to dissolve them is with the Helix Method. And by how you identify what is the limiting belief that is holding you back is you use the sway technique, which is muscle testing. And the reason why this is my favorite one to use is because you can feel the magnetic pull of your energy field as you do this. Has anyone here felt that? How does it feel when you're getting your yes, no responses from using the muscle testing, using the sway technique? And you can feel when you get a stronger sway and a more subtler sway, there's more energy built up into that thing, that thought that you're thinking about if you're getting a stronger sway. And this is a way that you bypass the conscious mind when you're doing it in, in the exact way that I have laid out. So you'll, you'll need to also know what kind of questions to ask. Because this is where you'll move faster uh, in the wealth portal because I have this all laid out for you. Exactly what to ask so you can go deep because we want you to go deep to be able to get to the root and to heal the limiting beliefs. So these typically come from childhood that have informed your current self-concepts. And of course, we are creating limiting beliefs all the time in align with our default set points because we're wanting to keep ourselves at, our subconscious wants to keep us at that, at that set point. So it's going to create some beliefs that are going to be helpful to keep us at that set point. Many are formed in, in, in childhood. And so this is what we want to do is find out what they are using the muscle testing and then balance that. Once we've identified the root, balance the deep healing alongside focusing on your current identity, the self-concepts that you have around cash flow, marketing, sales, holding your money, team leadership, savings, systems. All of this is part of your wealth consciousness and you need to start to change them. So this week, I've taught everybody the Helix Method framework. There's so much more that goes into it, but this is an overarching framework for you and showing you how holding CV17 on your chest when you're following our decoding ritual and blending that with bringing your heart into coherence by breathing in, to, breathing in for four and breathing out for four. That combined by using our releasing statement whilst you're holding CV17 enables you to, as you're doing our releasing statement, to really start to notice the somatic response of your body. Now, this is absolutely key because it amplifies the connection between your brain, heart and body connection. And you're listening to your subconscious as you're like, oh, this is strange as I'm doing this. I've suddenly remembered something or I've suddenly got a whoosh of heat coming up my body. What's going on? And as your awareness and you're observing that, your subconscious goes, ah, oh, they've listened to me. So they know that subconscious knows its job is, job is done and it's more easy to let go. This is, this is what I do to spot limiting beliefs that come up as my identity holds me back and how I dissolve them and start to create a new identity and embody. This is what we do in Helix Method and this is what I do as well. So I hope that's all answered, your, answered your question. Um, Denisa. Alrighty, let's see any other live questions coming in. Ah, heart is racing now. What was the thought you had before your heart started racing? One of the questions that came up last time, which I'll just speak to because I think this would be helpful, was is there a way to muscle test to see if we've got the right offer? So this is the right, the right invitation to, for working with clients. And yes, there is. Of course, there's nuances to look at in, in terms of the types of questions to ask them. You know, we can we dive deep into this in the wealth portal more deep when I'm working with, with clients to find out, you know, okay, what offers are you working on? Is it in alignment with your where you want to go? Um, and course along the way resistances will bubble up in so many ways i always say this right at the beginning to everybody is notice when the resistance bubbles up and you suddenly realize oh i hear yourself telling yourself you can't get on the live call or hear yourself telling some telling yourself something don't believe those thoughts because you're breaking through and the subconscious is going oh hang on a second we've moved away from our default set point we've got to bring her back 
So the resistances will bubble up. So if your offer, the way you want to work with clients is out of alignment with your higher self, for example, you're going to have some incongruence there. And if you're pivoting into a new area and the offer is in that area and you don't feel embodied in that identity, then imposter syndrome is going to come up and, and slow things down. Does that, does that resonate for anyone? And of course, anywhere you've offered something before and it didn't sell, and then what you have then made that mean, subconsciously there may be some reversed energy there as well. And our nervous system then is working, anticipating things not going smoothly, anywhere we may have had to work harder or require, it's triggered a, a, a freeze or a fright response and so on. So then we're in that space of having to work harder. Has that happened for anybody where you're recognizing that you offered something that perhaps hasn't had the impact in the marketplace that you've desired? When I'm working with um, my uh, private clients and helping them do an energetic alignment assessment on their, on their businesses, we go really deep with this. And if I'm looking at their offers, I'll consider if their offer is in alignment with their desired revenue goal. That's just one aspect of the course. And then if I'm shown, let's say that this offer is 60% in alignment with their revenue goal, then we can identify what needs tweaking to bring it more into energetic alignment so to create more flow. Does that make sense? So it's a great example. Uh, George is saying her, hate's right. her heart is racing now, but doesn't remember what was triggering it. Recognizing I'm scared of asking for what I want <clears throat> because they may cancel or change their mind. Okay, so what I would recommend, Georgia, is really focusing on the identity of the version of yourself that um, this is like imposter syndrome coming in. Um, I'm, I'm shopping with other people's purses. You want to be able to be like, be really embodied in what you offer. And people will always come. There's a price point for everybody there in the marketplace. So offer what you want, work with the people that you want, get the marketing message right and get yourself and your energetic vibration in complete alignment and you will work with the people you want to work with. And this is key to, if you are just starting out in business, just to speak to this and you undercharge, you are putting yourself in a position where you're going to have to work harder to be able to pay the bills and to keep the roof over your head. And that is no good for you or for your clients because you're going to be worried and in that survival state um, whilst you're trying to kind of deliver and hold space and allow the containers to be to do the heavy lifting. But you are holding all the energy of all the people that you are you're working with so they can calibrate to a higher frequency ultimately. So we, it's really key that we're able to lead the way. You go first, Georgia. If you're working with, with, with clients, you need to ask for, for what you want. Otherwise, you're castrating yourself. And it will just have that ripple effect across all areas of life and putting yourself into that scarcity. Does that make sense? I'm saying, yes, I do not get much response on my offers. One out of nine gave me feedback after sharing my offer the first day. Okay. So when you're saying feedback, do you mean they said yes, they said no? And how did you feel energetically as you're inviting people to work with you? It's an invitation. That is what you are doing. You're inviting people to have the result that they say they want. And then it's up to them to make an aligned decision either way. And of course, there's ways of being able to help where people really see what's at stake if they don't take the steps moving forward now and they, and they delay it. And, and being able to... Ultimately, we all just want to help people make an aligned decision either way. Uh, one said no, okay, and the others did not give feedback. Did you follow up with them? How many times did you follow up? People get busy and they forget. And also with Facebook, if you're following up on Facebook at the moment, God knows what's happening to all the all the messages <laughs> going into like the abyss. <laughs> so you'll have noticed this week we've been... Um, Moses has been following up to make sure that everyone has got the replay so they can, you know, receive what they've come here to receive. We sent out some emails manually as well because we knew things were, <laughs> were disappearing. 
no follow up. Oh, okay, so that's exactly what I would invite you to do then is, is to follow up, it's just circle back, see if they're they're ready. Doors are closing shortly. Is this the time for them? Do they want to step in now? Have they got any questions? You can just simply follow up and say, Have you got any questions? Just opens up the conversation and they can say yes or no. But it's funny, isn't it, when people say that they want some information and then they kind of ghost you and that somehow is. Um, the way I see it is if I'm inviting somebody to work with me, it's like if I invited you to a party, there's an RSVP and we are all very, society expects us to RSVP and say, oh, hi, Louisa, yes, I'm coming. Um, no, I can't get a babysitter, <laughs> you know, whatever it might be. In my mind, that's what we need to be doing. You want to close it. It's really important actually to close the energetic loop. And Randy, from your perspective as well, close the energetic loop, follow up. So you're following up by giving them an invitation to close the energetic loop by circling back and saying yes or no. Because otherwise we've got all these energy energetic loops open with these invitations and we haven't closed them and that's an energy drain. And if you're working with business owners and they are reaching out and saying they would like some information and then they're, they're not closing the energetic loop by circling back and saying yes, no, or I've got a question ultimately because that's ultimately what it is, isn't it? That's the RSVP. They're leaving an energy loop wide open has anyone done that you realize i haven't replied to that person when i was looking at that invitation does that make sense okay doesn't change in your offer to feel better about it oh so you've got yourself into alignment with it that's awesome make things for shorter anyway i hope those reflections on that rscping with invitations and following up as business owners is really key for us for being able to hold strong energetic containers for our customers and our clients moving forward and not leaving any energy loops open. Really, really key. Alrighty, any other questions? Who here has done uh, used muscle testing to help make decisions? Because this is a, a, a common one that comes up. So I do often speak to it in our free free uh, masterclasses because we want to make sure we're asking a cluster of questions and not just one question because otherwise you can get a misreading because of all these things going on the energetic blocks going on trying to keep you trying to keep the things the same same so if we remember <laughs> as we're moving forward and making decisions that decision is putting us on a path of expansion or contraction and we want to make sure that we're making the right decisions so that we're moving onto that path continuously of expansion. These little locks are going to come up and go, no, no, <laughs> keep, no, no, keep the thing the same. So this will help you become excellent at making decisions. And if there's a wobble in your field and you're feeling like, I don't know what the right decision is, you know, that can bubble up for everyone at time to time, whether it's around hiring team members, deciding which program to offer people, whether it's uh, you're going to launch a book at this moment in time, whatever it is, whether it's, you know, muscle testing on stepping into the wealth portal, whatever it might be, because the subconscious is really, really sneaky and it knows everything, it knows how to keep you in the same spot, the same spot for your revenue growth in your relationships, <laughs> all, the, all the things. So invite you to, this is what you can do so that you can get an accurate answer. Otherwise, the subconscious is going to give you one reading. Your higher self is trying to give you another reading. So your soul might be saying, yes, this is the next line step. Have that breakthrough, have that transformation. The subconscious program to keep the things the same is saying no. <laughs> so when muscle testing, using the sway, you want to make sure, of course, you're doing this, you're making energetically aligned decisions so for example if you said simply is this my best next step you might get a no because of the resistance to the results you have in the program for example does that make sense you're just saying she's in muscle testing for decision making I see this a lot. People will think that they have a no 
they have no resistance to something. And then when I work with them, because I really understand the subtle art of muscle testing, I can help them find the block and the resistance and the energetic imprint and the, the belief or the emotion that's creating that resistance. And then after that, if you once you clear that and you ask a question about, is this your best next step? You get a completely different answer. More energetically aligned answer for your future consciousness. So here's what you can do. So in terms of if you're deciding to, for example, to step into the wealth portal, the key thing is, so using the Helix method is to align your levels of consciousness. So giving you the higher self indication in the workbook. Make sure you're in a heart space so that when you're clearing the resistance, so you muscle test on the a number of questions that I'm going to give you. Then once you've cleared the resistance, then <laughs> ask, is it is it in my highest interest as your next step? So you ask, I have got resistance to being in the wealth portal, or stepping into the wealth portal. You can say, this will work for me. Now, if you get a, a no, I believe it will work for everyone else but me. Then I want you to, to, to release that as this will work for me, no. Remember how I was taught, taught you to, to do that this week. We avoid using don't, not, won't, because the subconscious doesn't always hear it. So saying it in the positive helps you to have that more accuracy around that reading. I have got resistance to investing money in myself. I've got resistance to having the result or having the wealth. Problem. I've got resistance to breaking through my upper revenue limit. I have got a fear of failure, creating resistance to the wealth portal. Another great question to ask. And I clear this resistance and then clearing this resistance, because ultimately what you're doing is you're clearing the resistance and the fear and all the things beyond stepping into the wealth portal. It's actually the results that the wealth portal container can give you that is where the resistance is coming up to. So the subconscious is trying to keep the thing the same. So once you've cleared all of that, using our conscious decoding, then, then ask, is this next step in my highest interest? And then this is key, do you do this bit, all decision-making, and then align to being confident in your decision-making. So the imprinting would be the, to create that stronger coherence, I make aligned decisions for my highest interest, I allow more success in my life, I receive this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Really imprinting that is going to help you make an aligned decision. That makes sense. I hope that's helpful. We do see this a lot. That's why I wanted to speak to you about making decisions because I've spoken to, to people um, before and they've said, I've, I've swayed in it. And then I've asked them another question. They go, oh, I didn't ask that. And then when you bring that in, they get a completely different, different response. So really important. Really, really important to speak to that. All righty. Let's see if there's any other questions. Let's see another question. All right. If there's any other questions that come to mind, then just pop them in the Facebook group and we'll, we'll get the answer there. I wanted to share my story and some of our clients' case studies because we witness so much from observing people's different journeys. So we'd love to see what resonates for you. Who do you resonate with as, as, as we share this? So we have been, I can't believe this, we've been running our company now for eight years. We've helped over 10,000 entrepreneurs to break through their upper limits and it was at the end of 2020, I was reviewing the results that my clients were getting and realized that actually most people were having breakthroughs in their income within six weeks or so of working with me, which was just so exciting to see. And so I decided to double down on that. And so I pioneered the most innovative energetic group coaching experience, which is the Wealth Portal. And whilst I didn't want to let my first program go because it's just been amazing and my clients loved it, I just knew that it was time to up level what I was offering. And so, so the Wealth Portal was born. And over the last three years, we have worked really closely with our clients, changing their lives, their families' lives and the professions that they're working in all, all over the globe. And for those of you that may be thinking, what's the Wealth Portal? What's Louisa talking about? The Wealth Portal is uh, an immersive, transformative group experience where you explode through your upper limits by living at your fullest self-expression. And we do this through the balance of our, our healing work and impactful daily manifestation, manifestation rituals. And what I teach in the Wealth Portal is how I expand my consciousness. And of course, I continue to do so. 
how I break through my, my own upper limits. So this has all come from my own journey. And whilst I had the, the benefits of white privilege and growing up in a middle class family, I was had my own stuff. You know, I was bullied at primary school. I suffered emotional abuse within the home. I was sent away to boarding school, which felt like a relief on one hand and a massive rejection on the other. And my subconscious protected me by creating patterns and set points and self-concepts to help me survive in, at that time, an often confusing world where I felt unwanted and, and uh, often frightened. And of course, I brought all of those experiences and expectations and, and ways of being into, into my adult life. And so then that showed up in my choices as I self-medicated as a raver in my teens. I chose a partner who developed a cocaine addiction, which then amplified his growing narcissistic tendencies, tendencies and emotional abuse. And then found myself as a, a single parent in my 20s, raising my two then young sons alone. And so naturally, I threw myself into working really, really hard to create a standard of living for my young family. And it was a recipe for, for burnout and disconnection. And it's that moment, isn't it, when you look back, these experiences in my childhood, they were still held in my energy field, creating more experiences in line with those frequencies. And it wasn't until that I threw myself into personal development for myself, rather than just trying to fix others, that I started to uncover my default patterns and hidden energetic blocks and the root causes that made up my identity. So I studied, I trained, I learned everything I could, and I continue to do so. I'm an, an eternal student. And when I started balancing the healing with the manifesting rituals that I now teach in the Wealth Portal, my business sold. And I went from the first two years of my business where I was cobbling together five months, things were feeling really hard, to, to growing to those 20K to 30K to 50K plus months with just more ease. And I had that faith and certainty that I can create my own economy anytime that I choose. I will say I healed my relationship with my mother. I healed the trauma from my childhood, childhood and early adult experiences. The greatest gift for me is my sons recognize the difference within me. They love the Helix Method too. And what this has modeled for them in terms of our consciousness and creating our realities and how empowering that is. And my clients started getting faster results. And our company is an accredited training provider for the, for the Helix Method. This is just been evolving beyond what I could have hoped for and dreamed for. I've had the confidence to really step up as a leader in my field. And of course, there's always more layers of learning and healing at every stage of business growth as the CEO of my company and as a mum to now adult sons and a daughter and a sister and a friend, all the roles. We have so many roles that we play, don't we? So my wealth energetics journey continues. I'm, I'm my own guinea pig. And of course, I identify new layers for healing as I grow, and then our company grows too. Our company can only grow as much as we have done our own personal growth. Does that resonate? Have you recognize that, that, that pattern? And as I expand my capacity to hold more, this is multi-layered as we desire to hold more money. We need to be able to hold more of, the, of everything, including responsibilities, more clients, more visibility, all the things. They're all intertwined in our relationship with money. Does that resonate? So I'm excited to share some stories of our amazing clients so that you can see what wealth expansion looks like. And I hope that this provides an opportunity to reflect on their learnings to contemplate what wisdom that you can gain from them as well. So let me introduce you to the fabulous Tina. So Tina, she's an amazing Akashic Record consultant and health guide. She's done a lot of mindset work on money before, but hadn't done anything on the energetics. And while she was in the wealth portal, she discovered some surprising subconscious resistances that she was able to release. And as a result, attracted more clients to her and resulted in her tripling her income while she was in the program. She then jumped into the Akashic Record Certification Program so that she could then offer Akashic Record readings for her clients. And um, what stood out for me with Tina was her deeper connection spiritually and, and huge self-trust and confidence, which ultimately then resulted in 
more fulfillment and, and, and joy within her, within her business. So the key difference was focusing on the energetics as like so many, she just focused on the mindset work and she recognized it was really time to, to look at the energetics. And like all my clients, Tina discovered subconscious blocks that she wasn't aware of. We all have them. And they were imprinted into our field until we do the, the healing and the identity work, the transformation. But Tina was 100% committed to finding the layers that were holding her back. And it's through that commitment and going deep that the transformation lies. And as Tina, she enjoyed tripling her income while she's in the program. And it just, it changed her life and her concept of actually what's possible. And healing the energetic buffers, it, it changes your energy, which does change your life. Love to know what resonates for you with, with Tina's story. Let me see in the, see in the chat. I also wanted to share with you, Joan. So Joan shared that... I'll share with you what she said. So she said, the results of working with Louisa, Louisa have been miraculous. Before I was always unconscious with fear and tightness as it freaked out. Baby self was grabbing me to take, stop taking more risks. In a free one-to-one, -one, I won with her. That was part of me completely calmed down. It was a sign to me that I should work with her at some point. Incredible results happened a month into doing her wealth portal. The day after I practiced the Helix Method manifesting ritual and changed an affirmation to one that really resonated with her, which is I'm, in a money-making rocket. So she changed the language to, to, to resonate with her. I always say that, make the language resonate for you. The next day, our, our investment portfolio rocketed by a 320,000 gain. I also had a, used another affirmation in I'm in a sales quantum leap that really resonated with me. And right after practicing the, of the Helix Method ritual, she got a text from someone informing her she, that she just paid in full for her program. And as the fearful baby freaking out part, she then left or she went into 10 days of spontaneous healing purging intense emotions that led her into a spiritual enlightenment so the, the fear left and that part of me holding me back after years of self-improvement and tons of healing work it's finally shifted gives me total clarity and zero resistance and 20 times productivity she goes on to say i got downloads on getting my messages tangible and crystal clear for my high ticket program i'd always had a tough time decluttering before and the major shift had increased my decision-making ability so much. Decluttering is a breeze and effortless. And what I got was with that fearful part now gone, what's revealed was a divine blueprint. I got downloads on the book I plan to write. The scope of reach and impact is beyond belief. Louisa has a loving healing presence, which makes a world of difference for me. I highly recommend working with her. So I just wanted to share that because there's so many pieces that really can be helpful for you as we reflect on Joan's learning. So Joan watched all the training straight away and she dived in, she watched everything. And she was really open and coachable, open to the methodology, practicing what I teach, diving into the energy healing, balancing, changing her identity alongside the energy healing pieces, meaning that her vibrational attraction point was raised and using the framework I teach. And, and she adapted the language that spoke to her subconscious because, of course, how I might say something is going to be very different to how you would say it. And we healed the somatic default set points, expanded her nervous system pinnacle. So that fear set point that was there went. And that changed, changed her energy and changed her experience of life. Does that resonate? I'm going to share with you Ilonka. So Ilonka joined the Wealth Portal, knowing she wanted something outside her nine to five and to be in line with what she was doing. And over the time together, her expansion was she gained clarity on where she shone and realized that she actually loved helping others in their businesses and being a support business. Like uh, she said, it was like, I recognize I'm a supporting actress to the key, to the main actress. She discovered that through our conversations in the Wealth Portal, that her ideal business was to be an online business manager, to help business owners, the logistical sides of things in their businesses. And she sets her new money set point to 6K a month. That's what she wanted. And then she discovered that typically OBMs can bring in, they have the uh, capacity and the potential to bring in 6K a month, you know, working with a few hand-selected clients, which was ideal for her. And that was exactly, it was exactly what she wanted. So she discovered 
a surprising hidden belief and emotion around money. She was not expecting it. She was actually realized she was afraid of money. And we were able to identify the root cause and to transmute this energy. And she was so excited to discover this because then she just started to feel lighter as the opportunities around her changed. She started to recognize that her reality changed. She had more peace around the bills that she had to pay. And she said she just felt it was so nice to be able to breathe and to, to feel expansive. And I see this with all my clients as they create resonance with the levels of consciousness or peace, lightness, and, and, and clarity. Because the subconscious, as I've said, is on a mission to be 100% right all the time. It, it's masterful at diverting our attention so we can hear ourselves think thoughts and then we believe them, and then we take action on them. Whereas it's just the thought that we're reacting to rather than deepening our awareness and taking control of our consciousness and our nervous system and expanding that pinnacle so that the money feels safe and we can be supported by money and deepen our trust in ourselves and money. And one of the things that is beautiful to see is the next evolution of business purpose that comes through. And when we allow ourselves to fully lean into this, any plateaus that were created, they just start to turn around. Anywhere we were out of alignment with the strategy, either because we haven't updated our identity or we're implementing something that's out of alignment with our values, we will create a plateau. Sometimes we'll see this immediately and then sometimes things will be working and, uh, you know, until they're not. The key is the identity work. We have to embody it to have the results and to hold the results that, that we desire. That makes sense. Let me know what resonates from Ilonka's, Ilonka's story. I'll share with you about lovely Jacqueline. Jacqueline's an artist. Training as an advanced Helix Method mentor as well now, actually. But when Jacqueline came into the, the Wealth Portal, she was in a place where she hadn't been making any sales in her in her business for her for her art. And she shared with us that after viewing the masterclass, she had no hesitation in, in jumping into the Wealth Portal. She was really glad that she did because she was immediately able to um, start to receive some uh, some tangible results she sold three paintings from a, a gallery in the first six weeks of the program and she'd had no sales for six months before she said shares that the collective energy of the wealth portals private members facebook group is just open and supportive everyone shares ideas and wins it's really really exciting and she goes on to say that you know if you're open and curious she'd highly recommend diving into the wealth portal because it changed the life and account for you and for me, as I'm reflecting on Jacqueline's story, you know, the learning is to go all in and commit to the continuous and self-development. Even if you've done thumbs before, or you think you know how to do it, or you think you know what will happen, that, that's resistance coming up. You all have it. You all have it. And... Jacqueline listened to her soul's desire for more. She was listening to that soft whisper of her soul, so she invested in herself and allowed her higher self to lead her towards that, towards her expansion. This is about the balancing of the, and healing and decoding the old programming and impactful manifestation rituals that, that work. Okay, so... Decluttering resonated, lots of resonates. You want to declutter your mind and your house. Yes, this is this is key. This is what we are we're up to in the wealth portal. So when you join the wealth portal, I'll be able to take you through exact steps so that we can get you aligned as quickly as possible. Come an energetic match to what it is that you want to create. And I wanted to share. Uh, Joan's uh, Joe's story. So lovely Joe. Jo so Joe's a coach. She's a trainer for dyslexia. She's been spending a long time. She said, "I'm picking her money story and wanting to understand science and to have manifesting structures in place to you know support her and fully having her breakthrough and her transformation." And she committed to. She had a lot of resistance in the beginning, and then she committed to diving into the wealth portal in late one. To her surprise, since she started the wealth portal, she'd had consistent income in her business. Big tick. 
and she hit her dream milestone of a 10k month um, in July of that year and she said it was her resistance came in the form of perfectionism <clears throat> and she realized she was really in that energy of pushing to achieve more in life does that resonate with anyone and that was creating resistance and anxiety and she discovered some patterns that she was able to release and learn and to be able to actually move into that place of, of trusting money and to have certainty that money will show up. So she said she let go of the push. And that was huge for her. Let go of the anxiety. Allowed herself to create more trust and to trust the rhythm of her business and the journey itself. And when I reflect on the learnings from Joe's case, Joe actually never attended a live call. During her entire time with the World Portal, she watched everything on replay because of the time commitments of her business. What I do for my clients in the World Portal, if they've got questions in between calls, I answer them in the Facebook group. If I need to do a short video, I'll do a little short video message for them as well, guide them through what they're working on. So that's like one-to-one -one coaching, but in the group container. We pop it in the group so that everyone can benefit. Because whatever comes up for one person in, in the group, someone else is going to benefit from that as well. My other clients in Australia, who have worked, we've worked this way as well. So tuning into replays and then having personal questions answered by the Facebook group too as well. And what was key, of course, is Jo was just like really up for it. She's like, right, after the initial, I'm getting over the perfectionism that was her way, her default set point was kicking in. Her nervous system pinnacle was kicking in. She then really allowed herself to be fully supported, leaning in, asking those questions in between the calls telling me how things were going, keeping up to date, letting me know where the niggles were, sharing the celebrations. She really leaned in and healed her relationship with money. And she started to have that feeling of absolute certainty that she was going to hit her dream of a 10 came up. And she smashed it out of the park in July. And then she gave herself the August off. And that was really important to her because she's a mum of four kids. So that was really in alignment with her values. So I see the wealth expansion here as she created that income milestone without sacrificing her son or the kids. So, so keen. Does that resonate? So I hope that this has inspired you. This is what we're up to. We would love to have you with us. We'd love to know what has resonated for you as you reflect on these entrepreneurs' experiences. And if it's okay, I'm just going to take a, a moment just to walk through what our time together in the Wealth Portal will look like when you join the Wealth Portal. We would absolutely love to have you with us. And we do right now have an incredible masterclass invitation. It ends on Wednesday. So for those of you ready now, and for those of you ready now and are shopping with us whilst we're live, I'm going to give you an extra incredible bonus of a private one-to-one -one with me. So just let me know I'm in in the, in the chat. Or well, if you need the link, request the link. Moses will pop the link for you. We've got the link for the Wealth Portal on the replay page as well for you so you can grab it there. But when you shop with us whilst we're live together today, we're going to throw in a, a bonus private one-to-one -one with me uh, as well, which I'm super excited to see who is going to be enjoying that. So this is for you. If you know that there's always a new level of learning and transformation and you are committed to expanding your wealth consciousness you know you are meant for more and are ready to transform yourself so you can be be limitless in all areas of your life and you're able to hold more without frazzling the nervous system and, and triggering a contraction back to deeper set points you want to heal the hidden blocks expand your wealth consciousness be a great role model for your, for your family for your community lead the way, show people what is possible. So this is for you if you're intending on growing to, to six figures, you're at six figures, seven figures, eight figure business owner. You're in that space where you know the expansion of your consciousness is linked to your business success. You're making sales in your business. Maybe you've hit a plateau and you're like, I know I can reach more people. I want to get out of this business plateau. I want to heal the energetic blocks of that we've been talking about this week. You know you want to make a bigger impact with your with your business and be able to continue to do so in healing art and expanding your wealth consciousness is key to being able to, to, to do that. 
So I thought it'd be helpful to share because often people will say, well, how much time is this going to, to take me? Um, and so you just simply need to find three hours a week to commit to doing the inner healing work and the manifesting rituals. So this is for you if you are fully committed to making your next 90 days your, your best yet. Let's have this breakthrough. I'd be so excited to welcome you into the world portal. For you to start to be able to really embody your higher self, to experience all that you desire, and to feel that you've got that expansion being safe and supported. And it's absolutely key to share the, you know, share the experience of the incredible community of like-minded entrepreneurs. So this is what we are up to. What is included is we work together live for four months and then you have access and you enjoy the content for a year. So you can revisit and integrate the learnings. Our program is a hybrid program where you enjoy world-class training on wealth energetics in our membership site. And then you enjoy three live calls with me each month where we dive in deep. And I pay attention to what's coming up for everyone in the group so that we follow the thread of going deeper into the content in the membership site and then you're experiencing new techniques and activations and, and learnings, learnings with me live. And as part of this, you do get an Akashic Record activation, a group one with me once a month as well. And you also have access to a little black book with investment opportunities and high net worth feeders, financial growth strategies as well. So we've got lots of, lots of gifts for you and huge, huge bonuses for you. We start the next uh, round in um, the 3rd of June. And our calls are on Wednesdays. I'm just thinking, what's the date that? So it's the 5th of June, 5th of June, 3 p.m. UK time, just to give you a heads up on that. And of course, if you can't come live, we have uh, always got the replays for you. So when you join, the, join us in the Wealth Portal, you'll get immediate access to the membership site and get started with our personality profiles and future self progressions so that we can get you set up for success. And I take you through the first powerful module to really help you heal and identify the default set point around money. Find out what's he what needs healing, what's going on, so we can start to expand your capacity there. We'll be uncovering the hidden vows and the agreements that you've been holding. We'll be healing transgenerational patterns, personal financial goal traumas, all the things that have been creating stickiness in your energetic field. And very often, things that you didn't know that you needed to look for which is why you start to collapse that timeline and start to have quantum leaps in, in, your, in your results. So I'm so excited to see what is going to be calibrated for you when you come and join us in the Wealth Portal. And what you'll see is that um, you'll start to be able to create your next revenue goal and just have more confidence that you're going to, it's inevitable. Your success is absolutely inevitable. You'll have people reaching out to you with new amazing opportunities. It's so exciting and motivating. You start to see it happen. You're like, oh my God, it's working. <laughs> This opportunity is coming, this opportunity is coming. And you'll have that amplified connection with your higher self. So you'll start to notice the synchronicities. You'll start to hear that your higher self's voice more strongly. And then you'll be able to start to see how you're in that flow state, being able to allow your energy to do the heavy lifting for you being an energetic match to, to your desires. And you will also have stronger personal, personal boundaries so you can enjoy your business and your life. Hello weekends with your kids, half term off, all the things instead of working all the time. Start to feel that inner peace with yourself, complete trust. Feel more supported with your friends and your families. Feeling safe to be all of you. Feeling safe to ask people for the investment that is going to support them, you and your business. Finally launch that new product or have the confidence to pivot your service. Whatever it is, raise your prices confidently sell at that at that new level this is really really key stuff so this is a deeply transformative experience and selling marketing and creating new income streams in business it, it's all a game of energetics and so the wealth portal will massively expand your money consciousness and, and business revenue so i'm so excited to invite you to come and join us our, our goal is to break through our limit in 60 days or less so often people are breaking through in 30 days or less and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But that's our goal. And I'm guided to help entrepreneurs like you to create a great impact and to have more wealth. That is why I wanted to make it a really easy yes for you. And we've got a number of different options for you. So you can choose what's the most aligned option for you. 
So this is our special early bird scholarships for those of you in the masterclass. This is available until Wednesday, the 15th of May. So we've got so uh, retail investment for Wealth Portal is just 6K USD um, uh, or 5,000 pounds, British pounds. With our early bird, you can enjoy a, a range of pay as you profit plans and choose the one that feels most aligned to you. With that, you save up to uh, 2K USD. If you want to save 50%, you can pay them for it's just 3K USD. And you have some super duper gifts for me as well. And if you want to uh, invest with British pounds, then if you're looking at the page on um, your phone, you just need to scroll all the way down to the bottom because um, the, the layout means that we have USD above the uh, above the British pounds. So just keep on scrolling and then you'll find the British pounds. So you can then choose the option that is most aligned for you. So our early bird expires on the 15th of May, just to give you a heads up on that. And so I'm so excited to, to see who's coming to join us. If you have any questions in relation to the Wealth Board, we've got a number of typically asked questions, uh, answered questions on the on the invitation page. So they're there to support you. But of course, just reach out to me if you have a question. Um, and of course, um, and if you're not sure of the next most aligned step, then let's jump on a, uh, an energetic alignment audit call if you haven't had one before. And we will... I'll guide you through and help you make an aligned decision either way. So tomorrow we are going to be diving into the wealth activation strategy, which I am so excited to be uh, to be doing with you. So you're going to walk away with clear steps to achieve your next level of success in, in business in an energetically aligned way. So you feel really motivated, accomplished and in flow. I'd love to know, for those of you who are here live with me, you're going to be joining me live tomorrow, you're going to be on the replay. Let's see who's who's here. And Moses will make sure that everyone gets the, gets the replay page. Thank you, Momo, who's dropped the invitation for the Wealth Portal here for you. So we have got for the next three people that are shopping with us, they get a one-to-one -one with me, Georgia. Um, if you buy with me live today, you're guaranteed of um, getting a one-to-one -one with me. So super excited to be welcoming you into, into the Wealth Portal. Does that answer your question, Georgia? Brandy's joining us live tomorrow. Rosemary's joining us live tomorrow. Elizabeth, you're on the replay. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Mo's Pop the replay page and we'll... As we, it's one replay page for all the uh, events so that you can uh, easily find them because they're all in one, all in one place. And if you haven't yet completed the survey, we'd love to invite you to complete the survey. I'm going to keep the room open for a couple of minutes so that you've got time to time to grab the links, time to shop, and uh, get your spot in the wealth portal. Um, if you're coming to join us, I will play a couple of uh, videos of our clients sharing their experiences as we keep the room open for you. Uh, just a reminder to book your energetic alignment call if you haven't had one already. I cannot wait to chat through with you, find out what is going on. Let's get you moving forward. People always walk away with huge value on the energetic alignment audit. So I'm super excited to, to um, offer that to you. And I'll be seeing everybody back here tomorrow uh, for your wealth activation strategy. Thank you, Mo, for sharing, sharing all the links. Uh, we'll see everybody here tomorrow. Lots and lots of love. Take care. So I've been struggling with money for a long time. And this is a piece that I hadn't worked on is the energetics. There's a lot of mindset stuff I've done, uh, done with it and a lot of, um, sort of self-analyzation and 
and free stuff and I've been in a couple of money programs, but they're all cerebral. Mm. Um, I, I, I need to, to get out of the head and come into my heart as well as the energetics. And the more and more I'm doing the energy work, I know the value of it and how important it is and how powerful and potent it is. So it is, it's subconscious stuff we're not even aware of. And it really helps release a lot of that. My relationship with wealth and money was so important in the progression of my business. Because if I didn't change that, my business was never gonna grow. Um, it would reach a level and it would be okay, but it actually wouldn't give me what I really wanted, which was, which is freedom. Freedom is like the massivest thing for me, having the freedom to choose what I want, when I want it and how I want my life to be. What I love as well is because I know everything you teach inside that program you use, um, and, it, and it, it, because it's working with energy, but it's also, I love the, the way you coach through it as well. So you bring in all of your, yes, we have the energy techniques, but you bring in your coaching skills. You bring in your ability to laser in on what's really going on. After a little bit, um, I took the aligned money, um, the, the masterclass. And with those five days already, out of a sudden I had money coming in. And it was just like, whoa, okay. <laughs> and like, honestly, when I started, you know, I'm like, I've got scientific background and I was like, yeah, no, sure, whatever. This is, you know, <laughs> this is a little bit woohoo. <laughs> but I did, I, I decided to just do it, um, you know, do the five days. And, and honestly, um, I just became aware of like so much money that I had and new money was coming in. And so I decided to, to do the, um, to join the wealth portal. from doing the wealth portal that's completely changed that fear of poverty that fear of lack is no longer there i trust um, and by doing the activations by following your framework i know at any time i can shift into another gear and if i want to go out right right i'm, I'm you know i'm selling this mm. i don't want to do it because i follow your framework i follow your your guidance um so yeah Wealth Portal, love it. It's oh. just the most incredible container. Well, I tripled my income. Yay! It was so exciting. Trust the process and, and release whatever's there. And and I'm, I've realized I don't have to know the how or the why. It just, it happened. <laughs> and then I, I was attracting um, energy clients to me out of the blue. And it was like, okay not sure what's going on and <laughs> but I'm so grateful so it was so exciting and then this the second month in it I doubled the income and it's just been great it's it's inspired what you've created isn't it? uh, it's really been so helpful to have like this this whole program to dig and to get your advice and to see what others are coming up with. I mean, that was a big thing for me in the program as well. Jump in the programs. <laughs> <laughs> they work. Hi everyone. My name is Star Thomas Wise. I am a sacred wisdom coach and I am also a Helix Method mentor. And I'm just taking a few minutes well, okay, a minute to, to actually speak a little bit about the Helix Method. I've been in the healing industry for 50 years, and I've done all kinds of things throughout those 50 years. And I want to say this to you, nothing has shifted my personal life or the life of my clients faster than working with the amazing set of skills and tools that come with the Helix Method. So if you're looking for something to explore that's gonna enhance your practice as well as your personal life and give you a heads up like nothing you've ever seen, my strong recommendation is that you check out the Helix Method. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you.